So the first thing we talk about here is you can see this right in your YouTube analytic, a ratio of like 400 people subscribe right here for every person that subscribes on that button beneath the video. In your analytics, when you look at it, this is the past 28 days. You've had 917 people subscribe on that one button on the front of your channel. 300. 96 people subscribe across all 100 videos on your channel. Damn, I'm surprised. So, since almost everyone is subscribing right here, how do we optimize the front of this channel so that when people get here, they're like, easy decision, boom, subscribe. I'll just be honest, I, I accidentally read it chef at first. I, in my mind, I saw the tacos and I was just assuming <laughs> chef, you know? That, no, no, that, I, I think like, people don't realize what it's like for a, a visitor, for like a tourist to come to my my restaurant or my you know website. Yeah, I, I thought maybe he's a Chinese guy, um, but I was like, I don't know what this is though. There's a sun coming out, <laughs> happy button, but it's not clickable. <laughs> You know, so I was kind of, I was, it was just confusing. The main thing you're talking about in this channel is like related to business, related to entrepreneurship and I, like a good visual, especially one that represents you, your face and you have like this cartoon version of you right here. They're only going to glance at this for like a second or two and you need to quickly in that moment communicate, oh wow, this is a channel that feels like it's for me. In my opinion, before anyone consumes content, there's two questions that they're kind of subliminally asking themselves. And this isn't just YouTube, this is like television shows, magazines, it is one, who it's for and the value that you propose to deliver, your value proposition. The channel trailer right here needs to do the same thing. It's 12 seconds, which is fairly short. So first I'm coming here, I'm like, okay, is it maybe it's a biking, fitness thing, tacos. And, uh, and then here's Noah. And then it was kind of like, oh, it didn't really tell me anything. So what I would propose is having a, a channel trailer here that's somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. The best way I found to hook people is to talk about them. Like they get really interested if they feel like you're talking about them. And then two, pitch the value of your channel to them. And then three, then introduce yourself. By the way, in case we haven't met, it's great to see you. My name is Noah and I've started like AppSumo and Sumo.com and uh, I've learned a lot about growing a business here in the process. And the reason I tell put your story in there is because that was what's going to start forming like human connection. When you tell like the story that starts like, oh, like I like this guy or he's done it, he's successful, like I want to follow this guy, right? So subscribe and I'll see you then. So that's what you ended up with is that call to action to subscribe. To get these subscribers, one of the things I see that you're not doing in most of your videos is actually asking people to subscribe so your next opportunity here is gonna be like okay like give me some examples show me some stuff here you know you're doing what most people do which is you're using playlists to organize content instead the goal of the playlist is to get someone to watch multiple videos of yours in a row so the two biggest factors are, are um, watch time and session watch time watch time is just uh, basically the amount of time someone spends watching your video so let's say you and Gary V both publish videos and they'll watch Gary V's video, let's say a 10 minute video, they'll watch this for seven minutes and they'll watch yours for three minutes. Gary V is gonna be beating you all day long as far as what YouTube is gonna promote and give exposure to across the site because people spend more time watching Gary V's video. Session watch time is, well, how does this video contribute to a viewer's overall viewing session on YouTube? So YouTube's goal is to get people to come back to their platform as often as possible, keep them on the platform as long as possible, watching as many videos as, as possible, engaging with as much content as possible, subscribing to as many channels as possible. And so if your video can contribute to keeping someone on YouTube longer, then they're going to favor that, even if it's not getting as much watch time as, you know, Gary Vee, for example but a playlist will get them to watch more and more. You know, so if I go into playlist mode here, so starting a business, you got these uh, five videos in this playlist, it's just gonna play one video after the next video. So each of these individual videos are then getting watch time, but they're all contributing to a longer viewing session on YouTube also. We wanna get people in the playlist mode as much as possible. One clear way to do that right here is rather than just call it starting a business as if it's a category title, instead give it like a really good enticing title like you would like an article. Starting a business with zero dollars and earning a million in one year. Like that's okay. like way more enticing. That's like, ooh, okay. That's like pitching value to me rather than just- Oh, okay. Like starting a business, growing a business, personal improvement. These look like categories. Boring. 
If the goal here is to get people to watch these playlists though, another thing to consider is that don't make them too long. Even even 14 videos is probably a bit long, 10 minutes long, I, I don't got time for this. But if they get into a, a playlist that has a really good title, the content's engaging, it's helpful, and they're like product, and it's gonna help them be more productive so they can, you know, it's the what and the why is the way I do it. Like be more productive so that blank, actual reward your that why this matters you know as far as the front of the channel is concerned that's kind of the main overall thing that once we get people here that's going to make it easy for them to subscribe is what you're communicating to them and how you're kind of setting up your channel